Hello everybody, my name is Dev Bora and I am a tarot card reader. Today we are going to talk about true love, soulmates and relationship disaster. So I know that the sequence is very odd. I will tell you how it is all connected and we will be using tarot to understand the concept behind all these three. So the two cards that we will be talking today are one is lovers. And the second one is the devil. So we talk about these two cards and try to understand this relationship part in terms of true love, soulmates and a disaster in a relationship. So first we'll go to this card which is called as a lover's card and if you see there are two people who are there and there is a couple which is there in the picture and they are they look very happy, they look very very content and they are in a garden kind of a sort where they are very very free to roam around and they are enjoying the place and this garden is very beautiful and there is a person who is there there is an angel who is there on top of them and they it's the angel is blessing them with uh, happiness and prosperity and love okay and so this is what we normally see and they both are naked so now all of this have meanings. I, I'll try to make you understand the meaning so that you understand what we are talking about. And the name of the card is called as the lovers. So as you see, they are very, they are naked. As a couple, they are naked. So what does this mean? When we are naked, we don't have anything to hide. So that means the, both the uh, partners in this uh, relationship, they are not hiding anything from each other. Their emotions are very transparent. Their feelings are very transparent. And they are telling whatever is coming to them. The communication is very much open between both of them. If you also see there is a small tree which is behind the men and the tree has got orange flames on the tree. What does it mean? It means that there is passion in the relationship but the relationship has not come directly into the personality of, a, of the lover, of the man. That means when the Passion is required in the relationship when they are together, when they are intimate, the passion is there. But after that, he is able to come out of it and he is not being passionate. And I'll tell you why and how it helps. So the passion is away from the man. It is outside his body. Similarly, if you look at the woman, there is there looks like a tree which is there. There is a fruit tree which is there behind her. And in the fruit, fruit tree, there is a serpent, there is a snake which is going up and there are some fruits on the tree. Now all of us know about the story of Adam and Eve and how Eve was tempted by the evil. So to, you know, kind of go and eat the apple. So my, uh, the similar kind of a story is here where the desire and the temptation and the fear is not with the person, it's outside her body. So that means these qualities have not yet come to her personality. And because these qualities have not come to the personality, that means they are very, very happy. The relationship is going really well and they are enjoying it. If you also see there is a mountain in the background and the mountain is red in color. This mountain is full of passion. So there is a lot of passion between both of them. But it's still pent up. It's accumulating and it's pent up. So there will be a time when this whole thing can blast. As a couple, when we get into a relationship, when we get into a new relationship, we might be feeling that we are in this kind of a phase where everything is going well and we are not at all finding anything wrong in the relationship and everything is going very good. What happens is that later things start changing. So I'll tell you about this. But what we need to understand is that in true love, this is how it will be. The couple is going to be very, very happy. They are going to not have any kind of emotional barrier. They'll be talking a lot. They'll be having a lot of good communication within each other. They'll be very transparent to each other in terms of their emotions, feelings and communication. And their passion, desire, fear will be always behind them. It will not be with them, it will be behind them. This will always lead to a lot of happiness, stability, security in the relationship. And this is how we want our relationship to be. Then what happens? How does it change? How does it completely gets 
to a very different bad state where we are, we just want to come out of it and still we are not able to come out of it. For that we'll go for a different card called as the devil. Now if you look at this card, the couple is the same, but now there is no more garden. The garden have disappeared and there is no angel now. The angels have also disappeared. There is a devilish character which has come in the picture now. And if you see the couple, the couple is tied to each other with a chain. And they are bound to each other. They might not be wanting to be together, but they are bound now. They are not able to leave each other. And this is always going to lead to a lot of misery, a lot of pain for both of them. If you see the, the mountain is also not there in the background now. The mountain have disappeared. The whole mountain have blasted. The whole emotions of passion have blasted and that has led to the destruction of the garden completely. If you also see the men where there was a tree behind him with orange flames or red flames, now the devil is kind of igniting the tail of the men with fire. That means the passion which was outside till now has come to his personality now. Now he has acquired that passion in the relationship. Similarly, the woman who was having desire, temptations and fear outside now has got it in her personality. And these two things have led to the bounding of each other. Can you see they are tied by a chain and because of which they will be very, very unhappy. Because they will not be able to move out. They will not be able to have any kind of freedom. And although this is the same person whom they love so much, now it seems more like a punishment. And why it has happened? Because the passion which was outside, which was for life as such, has now become passion for this one individual. The desire, the temptation, the fear which was there for life in general have now become for one person. Now when we have got these emotions for one person, we become bound to that person. And because of this, our freedom, our happiness becomes affected by the other person's thought, action, emotions. This will lead to more and more pain for us because we try to change the person. We try to make him or her better which is the case, which is what soulmates do, but we get affected if they don't change. We get angry if they don't change. We have to understand that our duty as a soulmate is only to make the person see it, understand it, and the decision of them changing or not remains on them, remains to them. We can't be disappointed by the fact that they are not Changing. So then we remain in the relationship, but at the same time we remain free of any kind of disappointment. So this is how the lovers are and this is how the devil card is. Now if you look at it, both, of, both the couples are naked. That means they are transparent still. But the transparency which was there in this card, in the lover's card with a lot of love, Emotions and all have now been taken over by passion, fear, insecurity. Because we, are, we have bond, bound each other. Here the bonding is not there. They are free. What I mean by this is that I'm not saying that we should be having a lot of girlfriends or more than one boyfriend. It's not about that. It's about understanding that my life is mine. I love somebody. But that person has not become my life completely. She or he is a part of my life. They are not in my life completely. When we do that, we understand that we are free. We are soulmates and we are free. This is what happens in a relationship. If you see in a marriage after 10 years, 12 years or in a long term relationship, we get to know the other person really well. But then also we are not happy because we want to change him. We want to change her. We want to make that person the way we want it, which is very wrong because by doing that, we are trying to own the person. Now, we don't own people, right? We own things. And when we 
objectify anybody, we are disrespecting the person. And when we disrespect a person, the love will always go away because of it. Other emotions will remain. So I urge all of you to understand that especially all of us when we, we we should understand that true love does not mean bonding to each other bounding to each other on the bonding word bounding to each other we have to remain free by understanding that my partner is just a part of my life he or she is not my life completely i have my own journey to make sure that i live it in the whole process i will make my partner also come with me if he or she understands and come, very good. If he or she does not understand, is not willing to change, we should not be disappointed. We should move on with our journey and make sure that we remain partners. Now, in uh, so I hope you are understanding what I am trying to talk here is that and this devil and angel that we are talking about is not somebody from outside. We try to project everything outside that there is a devil, there is a you know angel. It's all us. It's our qualities. We have a divine nature. We have a devilish nature. So here the devilish nature is more stronger. And here the angelic nature is more stronger. Is the angelic nature here? Yes, the angels, angelic nature is present here also. The divine nature is present here also. But the devilish nature have become more stronger. Similarly, is the devilish nature here? Is there also. But the angelic or the divine nature is stronger here. So from now onwards, I want all of you to start being aware and understand that what you are doing in a relationship may be leading it to a bounding for each other. And bounding will always lead to problem. Marriage is a bounding, but it's important for the, it's an important institution for the society. So we have to respect each other and keep growing because there is no reason there is no reason that we can give for not growing as an individual we have to keep growing and we should only hope that our partner watches it looks it observes it and also start changing we can't change anybody else at all whom we can change is ourselves so from here we will go to the part of soulmate so as you can understand that a soulmate is a person who will be always wanting to make us better. To make us always go towards our divine side. So, meeting a soulmate, being with a soulmate does not mean that all the time, you know, there will be a lot of romance, a lot of, you know, happiness around. There will be a lot of points of uh, disappointment, a lot of uh, disagreements, a lot of uh, discussions which will be there. Because, like I told you, the divine side will be always here. She will be always trying to take us to. And... We will always resist it because we don't want the change. So, I want all of you to understand that the soulmate does not need to be a lover. It can be anybody in the life who is trying to change us to a divine nature. Who is trying to elevate us to a divine nature. When you start understanding this concept, then you can make your current partner or even your husband a soulmate by making sure all these points are taken care of. Being transparent, being transparent about the emotions, being transparent about the feelings, about the communication between each other. Making sure that there is no passion in the personality. There is passion in the relationship, but not in the personality. There is no fear in the personality. There is fear in the relationship at times, but not in the personality. Then, when, it, when anything comes into the personality, we get closed our 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 sense of what we can be becomes much more narrower so let the passion remain let the insecurity remain but it should be outside the personality only in the relationship the personality should not become like that when the personality becomes like that we get bounded so uh, start looking for a soul partner or a uh, soulmate in a way where you can find it in your relationship right now also by doing whatever we have discussed about. I wish you all the best. I wish you lots of love. 
I wish you a lot of happiness. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you.